contestant number one, the British Virgin Islands, is known as nature's little secret. And this is one little secret which has to be told. Rosanna Chichester, Miss BBI, dares you to fight the beckoning, the lure, the siren's call of this teal embroidered ultra chic gown in a color which is reflective of a mid dive to one of the BBI's must see sights, the wreck of the road. Virgin Islands, wearing a classic gown or a class act, a woman of substance. Number one, Miss BBI. Let's now welcome to the stage contestant number two, Miss USA. Gown titled Cascading Nations, I present to you Miss Caribbean United States. The form-fitting bodice of her gown is dripping with iridescent crystals, symbolic of the hundreds of radiant nations represented within the United States. The stones closest to her heart represent the beautiful Caribbean island, as being raised in a Bayesian Jamaican Chinese household has kept her very close to her Caribbean group. As she moves, it appears as though the iridescent nations are cascading onto the sand-colored shores that are the drain of her gown. The front of her gown is slightly raised to showcase her matching Sawasi crystal evening shoes. The bottom of her gown is composed of delicately placed coils representing the numerous cultures that have become intertwined yet remain strong to form the United States. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss United States in Cascading Nations. Contestant 
subset can be seen daily on Guyana's famous seawalls at dusk. Wrapped in riches, adorned with grace, they're breaking. She is vain, she is sensual, she is confident in this creation called the Russet Sunset of the Amazon. This masterpiece was intricately designed and constructed by one of Guyana's leading designers, Randy Madrid, who represents the Amazon's majestic sunset and warm human weather throughout the year. This rare orchid and feather on the gong serves as a reminder of the persons affected or infected by HIV AIDS. Coupled with the mighty zeal of the Guyana space, the flowing mermaid bottom showcases Alicia's femininity and strength as a woman. The gong, which is complemented with simple slight earrings, would make any queen feel like a true goddess. It boasts a peaking effect, which mimics the flashes of light that is usually present when the sun sets on the Amazon. While the unique cut at the back of the gong pays special emphasis to Alicia's feminine colors and tone facts. Ladies and gentlemen, Alicia Nicola Best wearing the russet sunset of the Amazon. Thank you. 
with hundreds of beads added to the romantic train, showcasing a glamour queen on the ladies' night out. An activist embracing the change as the voice of breast cancer awareness. The symbol of the ribbon was placed to the back of the garment to remind and ensure persons to look after their health. She is a survivor, an activist, the voice of breast cancer awareness. The mother voices embracing the change. is by no means a female imagination, but she sure has much powers as she entices and captures our attention as she glides across the stage. Ladies and gentlemen, be absolutely stunned and dazzled by this amazing Eminem couture, full express. The high illusion neckline is a born and beautiful acting, the small and asymmetrical design. On top of the high neckline is a sweet heart neckline bust. The accolades are hand sewn onto the long sleeve in unique placements. The mermaid style dress is richly decorated in season accolades and bust For added excitement, a sheer neck overlay cascades out of the body squares in the neck. The neckline on the back is in a blue shape and the remainder of that neck is in front. On her feet, she wears silver sandals and her ears are a Tazia's look is completed with an upswept hairdo. Her beauty was enhanced by this crystal tailor of pretty new makeup artistry, Monstrat. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight you can say that you have met a magical being that you will always remember. Miss Monstrat Tazia Briscoe. Contestant number six, Miss Monsura. Who's up next? Coming in at number seven, from the island of magic and rainbows, Miss Anguilla Amethyst Davis. If beauty is in the eye of the beholder, then Amethyst is simply the epitome of all that is beautiful. She graces the stage in a stunning two-part Tariq and disguise. The sheer illusion of yoke secures a strapless, heart-shaped neckline and divine dimensional red lines dot the bust and midriff with blossoms of color. Sculpted styling creates a curve embracing silhouette, and the contrasting lining provides a neutral backdrop. The slender skirt hoops to a flurry of red flowers and beads at full length and trail to a metal pretty train. The illusion of a naked back adds a bit of intrigue to this already captivating Gold rich are all that is needed to complement this glamorous ensemble. She is simply gorgeous. Ladies and gentlemen, in elegance and regal stride, we present to you Miss Anguilla, Amethyst Davis, in a piece that she calls Red Luster.
in number eight, Trinidad and Tobago. This gong represents the spirit of the Caribbean people, as well as the unity and celebration of diversity. We all come from different races, religions, and cultures. However, we carry the pride of being known as West Indian. We can truly consider our region a diamond. This trumpet style gown is a combination of tulle, satin, and lace. The top of the dress is made of tulle, while lace is worked to outline the curves of the wearer. The dress is heavily decorated from the curve of the hip to the tail of the dress. The trail of the dress is made from the tulle material that has been twirled with nylon. This represents the waters that surround our region. The gown is further enhanced with the working of rhinestones, sequins, and beads. Shining in all her glory is Miss Trinidad and Tobago, Daniel Sincere, wearing diamond. Miss Trinidad and Tobago. At number nine, we head to the nature isle of Dominica, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Dominica. portrays the effervescent and diverse corals that belie the Caribbean Sea from Soufria Marine Reserve in Dominica to the undersea world of the sister Caribbean islands. This floral appliqué delight will sparkle as Francine moves across the stage like the gems of the coral remnants forming soft sandy beaches punctuating our Caribbean islands. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Dominica Francine Barron in Corals in Candlelight. Kaiva. 
Armstrong with a dramatic cobalt blue couture evening gown entitled Sapphire, reminiscent of a Caribbean gem. The dazzling mesh bodice is intricately detailed and jeweled with rhinestones, crystals, floral delights, and exquisite beadwork. The eye-catching mermaid hemline features beautifully adorned ruffles and a sweeping regal tree to add to the gown's high fashion To complete a box god experience, Kai's wears beautiful blue and gold chandelier earrings and a lure earrings. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Miss Satan's name is Kai Armstrong in Sapphire. Tucker of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Ladies and gentlemen, Carla Jellizo, representing St. Vincent and the Grenadines, in blue effervescence.
La Rosa Marguerite. The rose and the marguerite, called La Rosa and La Marguerite, are heart-stopping beautiful flowers. These flowers are symbolic as St. Lucia's national flowers, which have festivals in honor of the beauty. They also have their own following and flower societies, which compete in a fierce cultural battle to win the National Flower Festival competition, which was held in September 1985. Amy's mermaid style gown is a depiction of a combination of these beautiful flowers. Her asymmetrical black and pink tulle bodice has a high illusion neckline with a single long sleeve with a sheer back and is embellished with sparkling sequins, which is a symbolic representation of the members of the society who are dedicated to the praising of these respective flowers. The pink blossoming lustrous mermaid skirt with its stunning fabric rosettes depicting the moment of the rose petals bursting into blue as they sway softly in the wind. The gown that flows gently to the floor into a dramatic tree fitting for the theme of the flowers. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss St. Lucia, Amy Stephen, in a gown designed and made by Lucy new creations of Barbados, entitled La Rosa Marguerite. Ladies have graced the stage vying for this coveted crown.